Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate how you can convert a simple bar chart example from Vega website into IBCS styled chart that looks similar to this one. Usually for IBCS styled uh, visualizations I prefer to use uh, Core Visuals, uh, Table Metrics and New Card with embedded uh, SVG charts, but uh, the Nepen Vega is also a good solution for any kind of custom charts, including IBCS styled charts. Let me switch to this bar chart example in the online Vega editor. I will click view in online Vega editor here. And I can switch to the editor. And I will show you how we can start transforming this example into the IBCS styled chart. First of all, on axis X, we will show months. We will need data for 12 months. And we will display this year data and we will display previous year data. So we need two data columns instead of one. Let's first of all transform the our data table. I will rename these categories into months. everywhere in the code and it will be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I will add a few more rows of data. November and December. I will replace amount field with AC, actual data. And I will add one more field for previous year data and some random values for this field. Divide. I have updated the data table. Now we have two fields AC, actuals and PY previous year. Now we need to update the chart to display two different fields instead of one. Let's go to our marks. We have a single rectangle mark here. So we have just one field, which is AC, already displayed on the chart. We will need to add one more, but first let's a bit reformat the chart. We can give a name to this mark. Name act AC. Then we can remove axis Y. We don't need it. Access and axis which is on the left and by it's at on y scale we can remove it then we can edit axis x we will remove the main line and we will remove the tick mark we can add the main property to this axis which will be false we can add X property false to remove the domain line and the ticks. We can change font size. Label font size is going to be, let's keep it 18 for now. I think 14 for now will be enough. Now we can edit the rectangles. So we have. width of the rectangle which is one and we have padding here 0 0.05 so we have this small twice space between 
the rectangles. I think we can remove the padding. And we will make width of the rectangle instead of one, which one means the entire band of the area for each month. So we have no any space between the columns. We can change one here to 0 0.667. And now you can see that the labels a bit shifted. Let me restore the tick marks through here. And you can see that we need to move the bars to the right a little bit. We can change X here to XT, which will be the center of the rectangle. And uh, we will add band will be 0, 05. So the center of our rectangle, XT, middle position of the rectangle along axis X, should be in the middle of the band or 0 0.5 from left side of the band. And you can see that our tick marks already in the middle of each rectangle. We can remove the tick mark again. Let's go to the axis and it will be false here again. Now we need to change the color of our rectangles and we don't need this red highlighting. We will create a static, not interactive visualization for now. We can safely remove update property here and add all the formatting properties under the enter because there will be no interactivity so we don't need update and we don't need hover we can move fill from inside of update into enter property and we can remove update and hover properties and here we can change color from steel blue to black or dark, dark gray, which will be 33333. Now we have our black columns for actual data. We need to add additional columns for our previous year data. We can copy this mark and insert it before with another name. We need to change name because we can't have two marks with the same name because name property creates a data table. So we can't have two data tables with the same name. We need to change it to UI here. And now you can see in data viewer that we have table, our original data source, and we have rect py and rect ac tables generated by Vega. Now our boss marks display the same data. And we need to change for the py rectangles on axis y or the height of our rectangles should be based on py field instead of ac you can see the height of our rectangles changed but we see no difference between py and ac because both are black we can change our py columns to gray color it can be a a a a a a and you can see that gray columns are behind our black columns, so we only see top of them where our PY is larger than AC. We need to shift gray columns a little bit to the left to make them visible. We can change band here from 0 0.5 to let's try 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. 35 now they are shifted to the left because 
again let me enable tick mark through you can see that the tick mark is in the middle of the black column or 0.5 band and middle of the gray column is in the position 35 persons from left edge of our band so it shifted a bit to the left what we can do now again we can remove these ticks we don't need them now we have data labels visible only when cursor is hovering above a rectangle we need to make them visible always let's go to our text mark and we will edit the text mark text mark should be based on our actuals or we can just add from property to the text mark which will be from data and instead of original table we can use our rect ac table which was generated by vega when we added the name property to our mark you can see here table rect ac contains x c width y y2 fill all properties that we described here they were calculated and saved into this table by vega and we also have datum column in this table which contains the original data point for each rectangle each black ac rectangle so you can see that in datum field in datum field we have ac field with value which we need to display as data label so we can edit text property here and instead of tooltip ac it's going to be based on field and field will be datum and we need ac property inside of datum field we now have these labels but they all in zero zero position because we need to update x and y positions of our labels x position is going to be based on field which is going to be category and it also store it inside of datum let me open again datum uh, it was renamed to months sorry it's going to be months datum months and now you can see they all distributed along axis x and based on months field inside of datum field and band remains 0.5 so they are in the middle of our band and uh, we need to edit y position to put uh, these labels above the black columns so again it will be based not on signal but on field field is datum and inside of datum field we need to reference ac field so datum point ac and uh, this offset i can change it to zero or i can keep it minus two so they are a little bit higher above the ac columns what i can also change here i don't need update property because it will be a static visualization there will be no interactivity so i can just uh, remove update and put everything inside of encode and enter the line will remain center baseline will be bottom we can keep it font color will be the same i prefer to use six digit always x y text we don't need opacity field we can change font size here 
So we can add one more property, which will be font size, and it will be value. We will use hard hard coded values here. It will be, for example, uh, sixteen. Looks better now. And next step is to add. Uh, let me switch. We need to add this uh, greenish reddish rectangles to highlight the difference between actuals and previous year data. How we can do that? We need to add one more rectangle mark for every month. So we will just copy rectangle AC mark once again, and we will insert a new mark and we can remain it rename it from rect ac to rect delta or difference between ac and py let's call it delta py and again when we have a name for a data mark there is always a table which contains all the data for this mark all the data required to draw this rectangle. What we need to change here? We need to calculate the difference between AC and PY to know the height of each rectangle. And XC position, let's keep it as is for now. We need to change y and we need to change y to position. y position is going to be the smallest among ac and py. So if gray column is smaller, we need to know py value. If ac column is smaller, then we need to know ac value. So we can change field to signal here. It will allow us to make some calculations instead of using just field name so we can write datum ac we can use minimal value among datum ac and datum py let's change color to red here for now we change it y now it's when it's red it's visible Let's change width to 0 0.2 or even 0 0.13, something like that for now. And uh, we already have Y position, but we need to change Y2 position because now it's zero and we need it to be the largest value of both. So we can just copy this and change it to max so now we have rectangles from minimal of two values to maximum of two values this is exactly what we need to show the difference between ac and py but we need different colors depends of which value is greater AC or PY. So in the fill property, we can change value to signal. It will allow us to use formula here. And the formula is going to be datum AC greater than datum PY. Then use green color which will be otherwise use red color uh, let me check what is wrong here Again, P 
pure red and pure green is not a good uh, combination of colors. Maybe 80. Now it's green is blue is color and it will be better than pure and green. So now we have these rectangles to show the difference, but we need to put green rectangles to the left. So we can easily see that gray column increases to become black column and we need to move red rectangles to the right so it will show us that gray column decreases and we got smaller black column how we can do that we need to change the x t position so again we will use a formula instead of band here we will use offset offset allow us to use the calculation or signal so we can write signal here and here i use a function which is band width from x scale this function returns width of the band for each month so in this case it's the same that we had band zero uh, band 1.0 which means green rectangle starts at the end of our band for january we don't need it to be like this we don't need it to be here where the gray column starts so we need to change it again we need comparison what is greater if datum ac is greater than datum py it means green rectangles then let's put zero here otherwise one it's a bit better now but we need to shift it i think it will be 0 0.33 multiply it by bandwidth we can use like this okay uh, it's too much and we can change it something like this or 15 now it looks better and we need to move the red rectangles a bit to the left so it will be not the entire bandwidth but let's try 0. 75. Yeah, it looks better now. This is how we transformed our original example from Vega website into IBCS stylet visualization. I didn't make exact calculation of the column uh, width and uh, font size uh, and uh, all uh, this. Uh, red dish and greenish rectangles ideally everything should be based on the font size so we can add a, a signal or a constant for our font size and we can make all calculations to calculate the width of all rectangles that can be based on the font size so we will need to change just font size to scale everything i just show it a fast way how we can create something that looks like IBCS uh, style chart but uh, I just hard coded some values here instead of making proper calculation to make everything responsible so it's just a basic example I don't want to make this video really long but you can see how it's easy to use an existing example from Vega website to create your own custom visualization. Also, we don't need this uh, tooltip signal anymore. It was used for mouse interactivity to highlight the columns and the cursor, so we can remove it. We can later add new signals to replace all hard-coded numeric values with signals. But for now, we will keep it as is.
let me see if there is anything else we can change here we can change the description and call it ibcs pilot column chart now i think it's good enough i will export this json and you will find a link to the updated json in the description to this video